morning. Uh, sitting out here on the porch because it's raining um, and it's it's nice to be out in the rain. I might work out here for a little bit while I drink my coffee before I head into the church. Um, love to be in the rain. Was gonna mow the grass today, but <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get to mow the grass since it's raining, so we'll see how it goes. But it's good to be here in this way. Glad that y'all get to join either live right now or uh, later on during the day. And I always look forward to any comments that y'all have about anything. But let's start with a prayer and then we'll hop right into this devotion and see what God has in store for us today. But let us pray. God, thank you for the rain this morning. Thank you for the birds in the air. Thank you for all of your creation around us. We especially thank you for uh, the people around us and the ways that they care for us, the opportunities we have to care for them. And we thank you for the gift of love that shows up in relationships, that shows up in mysterious ways, uh, that just shows up. And we thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pastor John and I got back last night from uh, Tifton, Georgia. Uh, drove down there to be a part of Freddie Waltz's funeral service. And it was, uh, funerals are always a, a humbling place to r remember um, why we gather together as church, as friends, as family. Um, but we, we gather together to support one another and to be there to lift each other up, to offer hugs when we're able, um, to uh, offer stories, those kinds of things. We gather at, at funeral services especially um, to, to remember and to look forward with hope, uh, to lean on faith, to pray for one another when we can't pray for ourselves, um, those kinds of things. And uh, always a beautiful moment. It was great to meet a few people who have loved Freddie throughout his life. Uh, it was especially great to see a lot of pictures of Freddie, um, young Freddie. Somebody beside me at the visitation beforehand said something about how Freddie hasn't changed. He looks the same over the years. He just got less hair. <laughs> but they're right. The same smile that Freddie had was in all of those pictures from, from young Freddie to, to older Freddie to adult Freddie to Freddie from just last week. Um, and so it was a great, great day to be together. The service was beautiful used a lot of the um, parts of liturgy that we've had at service, other services at University Lutheran for some of our members. Um, and that's just a good testament to this community. Uh, it's great to gather at a funeral too with other leaders from other faith communities. So um, there was a pastor there, Pastor John and I were there. There was also a pastor from Springfield, Georgia who had been a pastor for Freddie and Karen in the past, um, and then the funeral home itself was a, an important local funeral home there in Tifton, um, and they care for Freddie and Karen. Uh, and just to see all these faith communities come together and people in the in the pews who are from different faith communities, um, that's why we're here. You know, that's why we are University Lutheran Church, not just to show up at funerals, obviously, but to be together at all points in our lives to um, to support one another, to love one another in different ways. So thank you for being University Lutheran Church um, in all the different ways that you are. To Freddie and Karen, to, to others in your lives, um, to people in their worst moments, to people in their best moments. Thank you for being the, the faith community that you are. Last week there were a lot of different life passages, is what they're called in the hymnal sometime, um, that I was uh, blessed to be a part of, I guess. Um, on Friday, I was a part of a house blessing, uh, a couple who had just moved into a new home and wanted it to be blessed. And um, there's a, a service of blessing for the house in, in um, part of our liturgy. And uh, you go from room to room and say a prayer and a reading and uh, bless that room for any of its purposes to to be used for preparing food, to be used to the gift of clothing for the laundry room, um, the outdoor space, the living room area where you might be hospitable to others, that kind of thing. Uh, that's a nice life passage to be a part of. Um, on Saturday, I was a part of a baptism. Uh, that was a, 
a beautiful moment. It's always a beautiful moment, but it's something else that we do often. Uh, and it's just great to, to be with, especially when it's a baptism of a baby, then you get a lot of people around you that are just there to support this child that can't do anything else by itself. Um, and so that was a, a wonderful moment. But again, that's another part of life that we, we gather as a, a faith community or as people who love one another around each other, these life passages. Obviously the funeral yesterday is another life passage that we talk about a lot in church. Um, there are different moments when we try to gather and we gather around God's word and God's spirit. Uh, we ask for God to be present with us and these are all, all things that we do together um, in these ways. So that made me think of this, this well-known passage from Ecclesiastes that we often read at funerals. Um, but this is from Ecclesiastes 3. There's a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Goes on to say that, that God is there for all of those times in our lives. And I think that's what I was thinking of when I was participating in all these services of life passages the other week. Um, also a, a wedding too, I, I forgot one of the LCM alumni got married um, this past weekend and was able to stream live on YouTube and so we could all all watch. That's another life passage that's usually a joyful one. Um, but all of these life passages, there's all these times in our lives, time to be born, a time to die, time to plant, time to uproot. Uh, all these times God is with us and we, we try to gather often um, every Sunday or at other moments in our lives uh, to be there for one another in all these life passages. So again, thank you for all that you do to support one another as a church um, and for being there for all of these times in our life. Let's pray and then we'll go about our days and uh, maybe sit out on a porch and enjoy the rainfall a little bit, the peace of the rain falling. But let us pray. God, we continue to pray for Karen and family. We give you thanks for the beauty of the ways that your spirit moved in that funeral service and burial yesterday um, around so many people who have loved Karen and Freddie. Uh, we ask for your spirit to continue to move in our lives at different moments in our lives, uh, to know that you are present, um, to know that our faith fluctuates, <laughs> to know that uh, we grow closer and closer to you each day. Uh, we ask that you make your presence known to us, that we are um, not too stubborn, <laughs> not too doubtful, but more open and aware of who you are, what you're doing, and where you're calling us to be. Um, and we give you thanks for faith communities like this one uh, that are there for us and will be there for us in the times ahead. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day, and um, God bless you.